Are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven, guys? I'm just like praying to God right now on a walk with God. And we got this 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 cloud and these lights beaming. That that just looks like this is this is just this is all the world. And this is heaven's gates that we're trying to get into. So I got a question for you here today. Are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? Right? What does the Bible have to say? I'm not going to be a street preacher and tell all of you guys are going to hell. That's a question. Think about it. You're like, no, I'm a good person, so I'm going to heaven. Well, pray about it. Talk to God about it. Because think about this. What is heaven? Heaven is where God's at. Now, if you are not having a personal relationship with God on this earth, why would you get the personal relationship with God after life, right? Hell, God created for people that don't want to be with God, right? He, it's a separation of God is not there, right? It's lack of God and everything that's good, everything that God stands for, love and, and all the great stuff that God stands for, right? Again, I'm not being a pastor right here. Go read the Bible. Go talk to pastors at your church. Non-denominational, evangelical, right? Good churches that aren't preaching no, no weird stuff, right? And read the Bible. The main thing, the main thing is God, uh, why preach uh, following Jesus? This is about relationship, not religion. And what I mean by that is it's about first and foremost, your personal relationship with God, Jesus Christ, reading the Bible, right? Which is God's word, right? First there was God and the first there was the word and the word was God, right? And so, and John, John, I'm referring to John chapter one, right? Is you pray to God, you have the Holy Spirit living in you, which you get when you give your life to Christ, right? You accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and savior. You get the Holy Spirit, you get baptized and you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, like your boy, right? You read the word, that's God's word. That's first and foremost, that's relationship, okay? Now, the church and pastors and, and, uh, and people of the community, they're there to help you, disciple you. They're, 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 they got wisdom. They've been Christians for three, five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? And so they're there to help you as well. And the, the church is the bride of Christ. So the church is very important to be plugged into the right community, right? And so that's how you learn about heaven. That's how you learn about hell, right? And what I'll tell you, it says in God's word, Jesus said, right? Those who accept him will get to have a relationship with the father. Now, if you don't accept Jesus as a Christian, we don't believe if you don't accept Jesus, we don't believe that you'll get to go to heaven, right? Because God created everything. They say, it says in the Bible, again, I'm paraphrasing everything. You could go Google this and, and read the Bible yourself. Go talk to your pastor. But mere creation within itself is a testimony for God, right? This didn't just happen out of nowhere. This isn't no just evolution, snapping, boom. No, everything is uniquely designed. Nobody has the same fingerprint, right? God created everything. Now, Adam and Eve, which we're all descendants of, sinned. So that separated us from God, right? Because if Adam and Eve didn't sin, we would just be in heaven, right? There would be no sin. But as soon as they sinned, sin entered the world. Now, sin, there needs to be punishment for sin because sin is going against God's will. It's like God, your father, who created you and gave you a life, says don't do this and you sin you don't you don't you do the wrong thing or you don't do what god wants you to do you do the wrong thing you sin now there needs to be punishment for sin right that you don't just let your kids do whatever and disrespect you and they just sin against you and you just let them you oh, no problem right that's not a way to raise your kids agreed right so it's the same thing with god with us so there needs to be some sort of punishment for sin right this isn't just a party where everyone just gets to do whatever they want. No, God created laws for us to do things and not do things, right? The commandments and a lot of great stuff, right? So there needed to be a sacrifice for our sins. So that's why God came down on this earth in the flesh to live a sinless life to die for our sins, right? That's Jesus Christ, right? Because there needed to be a sacrifice for all of our sins, all of our past sins, our current sins, and all of the sins that we're gonna do for the rest of our lives, because this happened over 2,000 years ago, 
Okay, that's when Jesus came to this earth over 2,000 years ago. Right, we're 2023 A. But everyone who accepts Jesus has eternal life. So once you put your faith in Jesus, give your life to Jesus, you have eternal life. You're gonna live, you're gonna go to heaven, right? But you know, it says in the book of James, faith without works is dead. So we're saved by grace and grace alone because we cannot work ourselves into heaven. None of our works could make up for all of our sins. So we're saved by grace. But you having true faith. You should have the fruits of faith, which naturally comes works, which is the, the repentance of your sins. It's reading the word. It's worshiping God. It's praying to God, talking to God, having a relationship with God. It's sinning less and less through uh, sanctification, through the Holy Spirit, renewing and transforming your mind, right? Through prayer and repentance and reading the word, it transforms your mind, right? So if you're not doing those things, then your faith is dead because if you had true faith, you would want to renew your mind out of love, not out of fear like most religions. No, out of love because you love Christ and what he did for you. So you want and you love the Holy Spirit that lives in you, right? And so you want to repent and you want to worship God and you want to read the word and you want to become more holy and pure so you can be with God, right? So once you give your life to Christ, life starts. You're a born again Christian. Life starts again. Now I'm telling you, it's better than, it's better than any life you could have ever lived in the darkness in the lies of Satan, the deceiver, the great deceiver, right? Now it's way better to be in that light right there than to be of all this darkness. Now it's better to be in the light because you love Jesus. It's better to be light, man. I'm telling you, it's better. You're gonna get fruits of the spirit, joy, happiness, patience, patience gentleness, self-control like you never knew. You're gonna be going, woo, God's good, God's good. So I ask you, are you going to heaven or hell? Again, talk to your pastor, read the Bible, Look into this because, hey, God created a place. It's called hell for all the people who don't believe in Jesus, that don't believe in Christ, that don't believe in God, that don't want to be with God. He created a place. It's called hell <laughs> for all the people that just like, nah, I don't like it. I just want to live in this world and do whatever and worship whoever. And God created a place for all those people. It's called hell. It's the separation of God. But he also for all the people who do put their faith in Christ, who do love God, who do serve God and worship God and all that great stuff. He made a great for place for you. It's called eternal life in heaven. Look at that. -hoo 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 -hoo. All right, guys, I'm going to pray you out. I'm going to ask you, I, I pray you, I pray that you dwell on it in Jesus mighty name that you dwell. Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? All right, guys, I pray in Jesus name that everyone watching this video is convicted, is convicted that they need to give their lives to you, that they truly need to surrender their will, surrender their dreams, their goals, their passions, everything to you, Jesus Christ, our, our mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray everyone is touched right now. Touch them right now. Touch them right now, Lord. I pray that you touch them and you fill them with the Holy Spirit. Fire, fire to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray they feel the Holy Spirit. I pray that you encounter them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that they feel your presence. They feel your grace, your love, your compassion, your forgiveness. They feel it and they fully accept you as their Lord and Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that they confess and repent away from their sins and they truly surrender Render and give their lives to you and do what they properly should do as a fellow believer to follow your footsteps, pick up their cross and follow you and be a disciple of Christ. I pray their faith in you is increased tenfold and you cast away all fear and doubt in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the salvation of everyone watching this video and I pray that they go to heaven and have eternal life with you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. Peace. Let's go.